management strategies. Rivers in the UK are managed to reduce the risk of flooding. There's two types of river management. The first being soft engineering. This is an ecologically sensitive way of managing rivers and it works with the environment. The first example is river restoration. In the past, rivers have been artificially changed. River restoration aims to restore the natural course of the river and reduce flooding. Next example is floodplain zoning, sometimes called zonal planning. Basically, when they're planning to build a new town or city, low value lands such as pastures for grazing and playing fields are placed close to the river on the floodplain, whereas higher value property is placed further away such as industry and housing. The next example is afforestation. Planting trees is a natural way to reduce river flooding as when the trees grow, vegetation interceptions increase and the time it takes for water to get from the sky to the river is increased, thus reducing flood risk. Another example of soft engineering is flood warnings. These can be on the news, on the radio or on social media platforms. The Environmental Agency also shares uh, preparation guides on what to do if a flood is uh, imminent, such as move furniture and sentimental items upstairs and making arrangements for your pets. The other strategies we can use are hard engineering. These are physical changes to the landscape and often can be considered uh, to have a negative impact on the environment and not aesthetically pleasing. Here you can see an example of a dam and a reservoir. Dams and reservoirs store water and they release it in a managed way, thus reducing the risk of flooding. The next example is river straightening or meander straightening. If you look at the previous river course, the water would have taken a long time to drain away. However, a new river channel has been introduced, which means that the river water can get away quickly and potentially reduce flooding. Embankments are the next example. Basically, hills or artificial levees build at the start of the side of rivers so that if river level rises, the river can hold higher levels of discharge and reduce flooding. You can see they've also placed some vegetation on here to improve its appearance. The final example is flood relief channels. Ultimately, an extra channel is built, so if rivers start to flood, the water can be directed away from the main channel through the relief channel, thus reducing flooding.